their part. And this is natural because these smart glasses, they allow people to have hands-free operations, which is essential in the logistics environment, because our workers are continuously lifting parcels, lifting pallets, and this can really allow them to um, have higher levels of productivity and also help them ease their daily job than always having to pick up a handheld scanner. So within warehousing operations, we see um, many different areas where um, we could use smart glasses, vision picking being one, which I'll talk about shortly, packing and sorting processes. And this can, um, of course, be applied to a number of other areas within the warehouse. Another area is for value-added services. And here we've got um, a screenshot of Volkswagen Martyr. It's an excellent application. It really shows step-by-step -step how to do a repair task. And actually at DHL, we also do value-added services. We do assembly of um, car panels, we do assembly of industrial printers, we also repair laptops to a certain extent on behalf of our technology customers. And of course, using these smart glasses, we could actually blend in step-by-step -step instructions on how to repair this laptop, especially for new workers. Um, but as I mentioned, of course, um, vision picking is the most prominent example within the logistics industry. And that's really where we're concentrating our efforts on this year. And um, we're working together with our partner um, Ubimax, they're a German company um, that do wearable computing solutions. And together with our customer, we're looking to pilot um, already in the coming weeks at our warehouse, um, vision picking um, in a certain area within the warehouse. And we're going to be using the Vuzix um, M100 and the Google Glass to see how um, a graphical representation of some of the warehouse environment could enhance productivity and reduce errors. So really, this is what the worker would see on the, the corner of their eye. So just to give you a quick um, overview, on the top left, he would see the shelf ID, so which aisle the product is located, um, which shelf the item is at. And then on the bottom, bottom left, you've got an actual graphical representation of the shelf. So for workers, experienced pickers, they don't need navigational errors, uh, arrows telling them where they need to go into the warehouse. They've been doing this for years. They know where aisle 87 is within the warehouse. But what they don't know sometimes is when they arrive at shelf, uh, I don't know, 1414, that it's difficult to find that exact box within the shelf where they need to pick from. And in this, this example, it's the, the little product there. And using a graphical interface, you could immediately see, um, okay, it's, it's four items from that particular box. And then on the top left, or top right, we've got a graphical representation of the trolley. So in some of our warehouses, we have trolleys. Um, this one has three bins. So that basically means of the four um, products that he's picked, two go into the left bin of the trolley and two into the central bin. And this brings even more value um, to some of our warehouses where we've got trolleys that have about 15 different bins. And sometimes they're picking not just four, but 16 of the same products. And of the 16, in a paper form, they have to see, okay, um, two go into trolley bin one, three go into trolley bin six. So you can really see how this could immediately start to provide value um, for our order pickers instead of a plain paper-based approach. And of course, this isn't the full see-through augmented reality. Um, we think the technology is not quite there yet, but we already have the vision. And our vision is to really do see-through um, augmented reality in the warehousing, and we'll keep continue our partnerships with Ubimax and the hardware providers to really see how we can achieve this in the near future. And um, oh, maybe one, one mention here is um, we'll be piloting this actually in the Netherlands, and we'll have some first results in around January. So uh, it'll be great to share also with you what our lessons learned. <laughs> 